I already solved same question by linear probing and quadratic probing. Let's solve by double hashing. This question is from Coleman book exercise 11.41. Some keys are given m equals to 11 hash table size, h dash k equals to k, h1 k equals to k and h2 k equals to 1 plus k mod m minus 1. Hash function for double hashing is h of ki equals to h1 k plus i multiplication h2 k mod m, h1 k equals to k and h2 k equals to 1 plus k mod m minus 1. So, h of ki equals to k for h1 k plus i 1 plus k mod 10, m equals to 11, m minus 1 is 10, then whole mod 11. Let's create the hash table m equals to 11. So index will be from 0 to 10, 0 to m minus 1. First key is 10, 10 mod 11, it's 10. Insert 10 at slot 10. Next 22, 22 mod 11, it's 0. Insert 22 at slot 0. Next 31 mod 11, it's 9. Insert 31 at slot 9. These are same like linear and quadratic. Only difference will be when collision arises. Next key is 4. 4 mod 11 is 4. Insert 4 at index 4. Next key is 15. 15 mod 11 is 4. 4 slot is already filled. Now we will use double hashing. K is 15. Write 15. Plus for i equals to 1. Then 1 plus k mod 10, 15 mod 10, 15 mod 10 will be 5. So 1 plus 5 mod 11, it's 10. 10 slot is already filled. Next for i equals to 2, 15, 15 is our k plus 2, then 1 plus 15 mod 10. 15 mod 10 is 5. 15 plus 2 multiplication 6 mod 11 is 5. Fifth slot is empty, so you can insert 15 at slot 5. Next for key 28, 28 mod 11 is 6. Insert 28 at slot 6. Next for key 17, 17 mod 11 is 6. Six slot is already filled, so 17 that is the key. Then for i equals to 1, 1 plus 17 mod 10, 17 mod 10 is 7. Then whole mod 11 is 3. Now third slot is empty, insert 17 at third slot. Next for key 88, 88 mod 11 is 0, 0 slot is filled. Next for i equals to 1, 88 plus 1 plus 88 mod 10. 88 mod 10 is 8. Mod 11 is 9. 9 slot is also filled. For i equals to 1, we already found 1 plus k mod 10. 1 plus 88 mod 10 is 8. So 1 plus 8 is 9. Next time just multiply 2 with 9. If next probe then 3 with 9. If next probe then 4 with 9 like this. Now 88 plus 2 multiplication 9, 2 is our i, then 1 plus k mod 10 is 9, mod 11 is 7, 7 slot is free. So insert 88 at slot 7. In quadratic probing, we didn't get slot for 88, whereas in linear probing and double hashing, we inserted 88. Next key is 59, 59 mod 11 is 4. 4 slot is already filled. Next 59 plus 1 plus 9 for i equals to 1. Then 1 plus 59 mod 10. 59 mod 10 is 9. So 1 plus 9. 69 mod 11 is 3. Third slot is already filled. Next for i equals to 2. 59 plus 2 multiplication 10. As 1 plus k mod 10 is 10, so 2 multiplication 10. Then whole mod 11 is 2. 
second slot is free insert 59 at second slot so in double hashing we inserted all key in the hash table now check the difference for same question in linear probing quadratic probing and double hashing these blue color are same 22 then 4 then 28 then 31 and 10 these are placed at same slot in every probing just 88 15 17 and 59 slots are different in linear probing 88 is inserted at slot 1 in double hashing 88 is inserted at slot 7 whereas in quadratic probing we didn't insert 88 some slots are available but still we didn't get place for 88 next is 15 in linear probing 15 is inserted at slot 5 in quadratic probing at slot 8 and in double hashing at slot 5 next 17 17 is inserted at slot 7 in linear probing in quadratic probing at slot 3 and in double hashing at slot 3 next 59 is inserted at slot 8 in linear probing at slot 7 in quadratic probing and at slot 2 in double hashing if m is prime or power of 2 then double hashing is better than linear probing and quadratic probing here m is 11 it's a prime number so double hashing is better than quadratic probing in hashing i discussed direct address table hash table then hash function chaining open addressing in open addressing i discussed linear probing quadratic probing and double hashing with the example if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.